Uh, let's now have a look at uh, nominal versus effective interest. I had a quick mention before that we get two different, uh, it's not really different types, but it's a, uh, different values that interest take, if I can say it like that. Nominal versus effective interest. And uh, before I go into explaining what the difference is, let's just look at a situation. Let's assume I get 12% per annum. I get 12% per annum of compound interest. Okay. So 12% of compound interest. And let's just see what's going to happen over two years if I say I have, let's say, let's make it easy. Let's say I've got 100 rand that is invested uh, at 12% per annum um, compound interest. Now, obviously, we now have to ask, but what period? Let's say it's per annum. Let's say it's compounded annually, which means in my uh, first year, or initially, I've got zero. After one year, we add 12%, uh, so I've got 112 rand. Okay, and after my second year, I get another 12%. Let's calculate it on um, on that amount. So 102 times 12 gives me 13 rand and 44 cents. So that added gives me 125,44. Okay, that's how much money I will have in my bank account after two years if I calculate it month, uh, if I get interest every year. But how much would I have if I were to get 12% per annum but compounded monthly? Let's work that out separately. So in other words, it's compounded monthly. So I'm going to use my formula because this time, if I get it monthly, in two years I get it 24 times. So adding that manually is just going to be ridiculous. So let's use our formula. So what will my future value be? My present value is 100 rand. My interest, remember, not 12%. Okay. I get it monthly. In other words, I must divide 12% with 12. Because I get it 12 times in a year. So I get 1%. And that is just 0 0.01 to the power of, and I get it 24 times. So, calculating this, 100 times 1, 0, 1 to the power of 24, a necessary step, but 1.01 to the power of 24 times 100. And I'll have 126 rand 97 cents. Hmm. That's odd. I actually have more money if I get my interest monthly than if I were to get my interest annually. Why is that? Oh, not no, annually. Why? Well, it actually makes quite sense if you just look at a timeline. So there's my two years. For In the first situation, I had 100 rand, and then I had 112 rand. And only now did my interest touch an interest. So that I had compound interest of 125 rand 44. Okay. But in this example, the previous, or oh, um, when I get it monthly, I get it 12 times in a year. Which means that my interest is already earning interest from the very second month. In the first month, obviously, I still have 100 rand, but from the very second month, I earn 1%. So after one month, I had 101 rand in there. And that 101 rand, the 1 rand started earning interest immediately. So, by in one year, how much interest would I have been or what would my value would have been? Well, let's just work it out. So it's 100, 1 plus 0, 0, 1 to the power of 12. If it was just in one year, what would I have 
Okay, so 1.01 to the power of 12 is times 100. 112 rand and 68 cents. Do you notice? Instead of just having 112, that would have been my annual interest. I actually have 112 rand 68 cents. Now, if you understand this, and I'll try to explain a little bit better, my interest was effectively 12 rands, uh, 12, 68% per annum. Because I effectively, if I get interest per month, and effectively a little bit more than I would have if I earned it only per annum. If it was only awarded per annum. And this is what is called effective interest rate. In other words, that is what is effectively happening in the year. So what is nominal interest? The nominal interest rate is the quoted rate. So the nominal interest rate is the quoted rate unless it's stated that it um, that it is effective interest rate so let's see uh, look at how would I calculate how to calculate um, effective interest rate because they're going to give you nominal interest rate and you must work out effective interest rate not effective, effective effective interest rate now I like to simply say all you need to do is what happens to one rand in one year? What happens to one rand in one year? In other words, if I looked at my previous example where I am 12%, so uh, we're not going to for that one. 12% compounded, uh, sorry, per annum, that is the nominal interest rate, 12% per annum, the quoted rate, but it is compounded monthly. Calculate the effective interest rate. Now, we already saw it's 12% and uh, 68 cents, 12%, uh, 12,68%, 12, okay, but now, what do I need? Well, let's look at what happens to one rand in one year. So here's my formula, my, um, I'm only investing one rand, which means my original P is 1, my interest rate is 12% divided by 12 and or because it's percentage I must divide with another 100 so 12% divided by 12 so it means divided by 1200 and what happens to 1 rand in one year. So how many times will I get it in one year? I'll get it 12 times. So if I invest one rand, how much will it be worth? And here we go. We get, if we calculate this whole thing, we get 1, 1268. So if I just want my interest, I need to subtract my original investment. So how much interest did I get? Well, just subtract the original investment and we get 12, comma, or 0, comma, <coughs> 0, 0,68, or that is equivalent to 12, comma, 68 
percent. That is my effective interest rate.